We make movies about Malcolm X. We get a holiday to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. But every day, we live in the legacy of Justice Thurgood Marshall, as said by Unknown Washington Editor. So, who was Thurgood Marshall? Thurgood Marshall, Childhood. Thurgood's great-grandfather had an incredible story. He was a former slave that later fought for the Union during the Civil War. In fact, Thurgood was named after his great-grandfather, and boy, did he ever live up to that name. When he was a child, he was forced to read the Constitution, which in his words, heightened his interest in the document. Later in his life, he would help uphold that document. He went to Howard Law School, even though he really wanted to go to Maryland Law School. However, they did not accept blacks. Thurgood Marshall, Adulthood and Work. He was relentless. His first job was in the Baltimore branch of the NAACP in 1934. His first case, Chambers versus Florida, was his first victory. He was the head lawyer of the NAACP during Brown versus Board of Education. This landmark case made Little Rock possible. It also ended many decades of racial segregation in schools. Lyndon Baines Johnson then appointed him to the Supreme Court. He had a chance to change America, not to mention that he was the first black on the Supreme Court. Thurgood Marshall, Legacy. Thurgood Marshall was usually in the minority in the Supreme Court. He saw the right things, which other people failed to see. He got a lot done, but he didn't get everything done. At the time of his death, two-thirds of black students still went to primarily black schools. His legacy, however, was not just limited to the United States and racial equality. Also, he helped draft the constitutions of Ghana and Tanzania. He was widely acclaimed for his work. He was a lord of the ultra-prestigious Liberty Medal, which recognized his work with the Constitution. All in all, Thurgood Marshall was a very important person that changed America.